Hello, I'm at the Geologically Spectacular Mount Diablo State Park in California, and I'm on a quest to find a relatively rare igneous rock to find at the surface called pyroxenite. So I'll tell you all about it. Let's go. The path to pyroxenite takes you up Burma Road Trail, one of the steepest trails in the Bay Area. You're heading up to that long ridge area of Mount Diablo State Park. Let me highlight in yellow the actual part that you're shooting for there. If you're interested in geology, let's put the purple on top of here that shows the serpentine coast range ophiolite region of Mount Diablo. Ancient seafloor, ancient upper mantle rocks. Um, so let's break down the chemistry of a proxene. First you take a simple silicate and that could bond with magnesium or iron. And when you do that, you get the olivines. Forsterite, phaolite, but hey, if you add a silica molecule to that, then you end up into peroxine group territory. You know, if magnesium is bonded there, you're having instatite. If you bond iron, you get ferrocelite and 20 other, over 20 other variations here. I parked at Northgate Road and now I'm at the X here. So along the way here, I'm passing a lot of Basalt. Basalt is another igneous rock, but this one is formed um, when magma comes to the surface and cools and solidifies into rock. There's more than meets the eye here. Around the backside of that very chunk of basalt, I see evidence of major metamorphic action. Like, the, all this rock was hydrothermally altered over time from seawater getting kind of like pressure cooked into the volcanic basalts uh, and ancient olivines and peroxines of the upper mantle. Uh, maybe some of this got kind of like pulled down into the sub subduction zone by the plates and then pushed back up over time. X marks the spot and yeah, I continue to see more metamorphic rocks along this trail. Um, look at all this quartz that's kind of like filled in the, the cracks here. What an amazing planet. What an amazing trail. All these little signs of metamorphism happening here. Look at all these like little fractured lines that are filled in with quartz. So cool. This is an interesting change in the biome here. As we could see, the soil is getting uh, much more red, more iron content, magnesium. Some of the rocks along this part are bluish, greenish. I don't think there's blue schist out here, but I better take a closer look. Definitely a lot of peroxine minerals out here. And you can see the biome just changes with the soil change. Uh, a lot of chaparral. Ah, oh, man. These, ah, oh, the colors out here are kind of amazing. Uh, here's a bluish one. That's kind of cool. Um, oh, look at this. Oh, that's so cool. Let's go find some peroxinite. And here we are. I found it. Now, like I said, pyroxenes are actually a group of minerals. So the question I had was, what particular crystalline incarnation of pyroxenite was I looking at here? So my first clue was the beautiful pale green color. It's so beautiful. My second clue, you know, the biome, like I said, was it just suggests magnesium-rich soil because I could see the chaparral like thriving around the pyroxenite outcrop. My third clue um, was this, this like lamellar shaped crystals. It's kind of like stacks of sheets. And I brought my magnifying glass. I'll show you that um, in a moment. Uh, here's my iPhone zoomed up and you can see it's just like sheeted like stacks and I'm creating some kind of like mosaic. Um, and last of all, you know, there's evidence of magnesium for sure here. See those bright green areas of the rock? Like, what is that? My thought is that that's a little of uh, diopside in there. Uh, here is my magnifying glass zoomed in. So my whole theory here is I'm looking at an instatite version of pyroxenite with some inclusions of um, diopside. Well, I hope you like this journey with me up Mount Diablo. Now I gotta go down, 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 all the way down. 